guys, welcome back to my channel, we're about to dance period talk. So, I just started my period, it is Friday night on the 4th of October. Um, it is about like 9 o'clock at night. I started about an hour ago, I started feeling cramps and stuff. Um, then, we were watching TV, then we were watching SWAT, if you haven't heard of that show. It's on CBS, it's like a crime show, it's really good. We were watching that, and um, I started feeling cramps, like mainly my lower back, which hardly ever once while I had like cramp in my stomach, but now it's like move all to my stomach instead of my lower back. Like it still kind of hurts, but I did take me some medicine a while ago, so hopefully that will kick in soon, because I am very tired. I want to go to bed soon, hopefully with no cramping. And I put me a pad on, I'm actually trying new pads this month. Let me show you guys. We went to Sam's. Um, so basically, you know, at Sam's, if you have a Costco or something, I've never been to a Costco, but, um, basically we go to Sam's when we go out of town, and we went out of town this past month, So we got the Always Overnight. This is what I'm trying. I got one on right now, but I'm going to set one out in case I get wake up during the night and I got to change or just change it out when I wake up in the morning. But yeah, it started. I'm glad, but I wish it was maybe the second day because <sighs> the past few nights has been very, very stressful for me because I've been worried about starting. I was thinking, oh, I'm going to start last night. I was going to start the night before because I kept waking up early and I kept having some cramps, but basically it's just like PMS cramps because I never really actually started. <sighs> yeah, still, it kind of starts... When I'm about to go to bed in about an hour or so, it sucks. I have a feeling it's going to be another early morning in the morning. But, um, I'm trying some... Sorry about that. But, um, anyways, I'm trying to do medicine and stuff. Um, it's Tylenol. We made like the Equate brand, the, you know, like the Walmart brand of Tylenol. Um, it's like a little blue and red peel that I take. Well, it's actually two that you take. It kind of lasts the same amount of as ibuprofen does. Usually, because my granny takes those, um, Tylenol. She actually takes the actual Tylenol, Tylenol, but it's like equates about the same thing. Um, she takes it, and it works, it does her good. Sometimes, if I'm over at our house, and like, I didn't bring no ibuprofen or whatever, and it's thundering. Um, if it's, if I didn't bring no ibuprofen or something, I'll take it, and it feels like it has faster relief, so hopefully, with me, got some now, and I'm taking it, hopefully it'll be faster relief, which usually, when I first start, I'm gonna have cramps for a while, and it kinda takes a little while for it to kick in, but hopefully, when in, like, the rest of the time I'm gonna take it. So yeah, I'm gonna then just chill out on my laptop. Maybe watch some YouTube videos or something or get on my phone. Then I gotta fold clothes. I have a laundry basket. I need to fold clothes and put those away. Then hopefully about 10 o'clock, 10 30, I'm gonna go to bed. Um, so, yeah, pretty much. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, I'll talk to you guys probably in the morning. Um, hopefully, not too early. But, yeah. So, see you guys in the morning. Okay, it's dark, and I have my TV on, so you guys should see of me a little bit. Um, it is about to be, well, it's 4.30, I think, and I woke up a few minutes ago. My stomach was hurting so badly. When I went to sleep last night, my stomach really hadn't quit hurting, but, like, it was about to quit hurting, like, when I first did. Now, it, you know, usually I'm like... Uh, it's not really the second day, but usually on the second day I wake up kind of early anyway with cramping. So, I do have a heating pad over there. I'm kind of thinking about plugging it up, laying on it, because that might help a little bit more. Excuse me. Um, but I did get up. I went and got me a muff and a bottle of water, and I took me... To uh, um, Tylenol, I haven't took any since 8:30. So 
so it's been well over four hours since I took it back when I first started, so I can take it. Um, I'm just waiting for it to kick in. Hopefully it kicks in soon. Um, yeah, so there's some, there's nothing on TV. Um, there is one show I like to watch on TV, but I've done seen it so many times. So, I'm thinking about just getting my phone and finding something on Netflix or something. Or find something on YouTube to waste the time by. Hopefully I can go back to sleep soon if my cramps stop. So, yeah, that's where I am right now. Um, time of the month, am I right? <laughs> Alright guys, so it's actually daylight outside now. I, from when I talked to you guys earlier, I went to the bathroom after that. I checked my pad. I really haven't started to be like being heavy heavy. With all the cramps I'm having, I should be kind of heavy by now. Um, I'm still bleeding. It's showing up on the pad and everything. But I, I think it's starting to get a little bit heavier. Um, oh, I'm cramping right now. Um, but after I came out of the bathroom, I got the heating pad like I told you guys earlier. And I laid on it. I went back to sleep. I woke up sick. 50 something my stomach was still kind of hurting it wasn't hurting hurting but it was like hurting kind of on my heating pad because it done went off it was on standby and redone that then I went to I know I was off for a few more minutes to about 7 20 and when I woke up my stomach started hurting like really really bad um I was actually when I woke up I was on the opposite side of the bed so like the heating pad wasn't under my stomach even though it was turned off like I was on standby so I was like on the other side of the bed laying on my stomach it feels like when I start start my period I don't lay on my back like I'm afraid of leaking if I lay on my back which I I am wearing overnight pads so it's a little bit longer so I shouldn't have to worry about that but I just get so worried even though my lower back feels like it needs a heating pad to it because it also hurts um but yeah so it is eight o'clock in the morning um i can actually maybe take some more medicine in a few minutes if i eat something i might need to do that because it might be out of my system and it hadn't like fully it feels like it might not even do anything i'm hoping that medicine wasn't a mistake um ibuprofen and that both last the same time so i'm trying to think do i want to take some of that because i do have ibuprofen left my mom keeps some in her purse for me i don't keep none in my purse but she keeps them keeps some in my purse for me um so like if we're out in town or whatever or and we're not gonna be home for a while and i do start my period or if i have a headache or whatever she has ibuprofen in her purse so she still has some so i might take some of that and just take that Tylenol at night, maybe, but I don't know, I haven't really decided. I really want to actually eat something when we actually have breakfast or something like that. I have a little bit more on my stomach before I take anything else, but, yeah, but, I don't know. I might have to eat another snack cake or something, depends on when we're going to eat breakfast, because it's kind of too early to eat breakfast. I know 8 o'clock is like a reasonable hour, it's not too early, but kind of is early. But I'm just not really a breakfast eater, and that's why I suck. That's what sucks about me waking up in the middle of the night, eating something. Because I just don't want to eat anything, but I gotta eat something. I know my supper that I had the night before ain't in my system anymore. So. Yeah, I'm drinking me some coffee. That's helping some. Um, I wish these cramps would go away because me and my mom was going grocery shopping and stuff in a little while and I really don't want to be in pain when we're going. We won't go to about another hour or so because me and my mom have to go by several places and some of the places don't open till like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. So, hopefully these cramps will be out of the way by then. Um, but, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. I thought I'd update you guys. <clears throat> so, yeah. Alright guys, so it is about to be 12 o'clock now. Um, my acne is just terrible. Um, me and my mom just got back from town. 
from cramping. I'm still cramping. It's been kind of continuous. Since I started kind of late last night, it really didn't start any started until like this morning. So like this can stare, it's still because there is my first day. So like only cramping most of the day. So um, yeah. I got me some chocolate. I was looking for a Hershey because we went by Dollar Tree and um, but the cash register that we were on it didn't have Hershey's. It had Hershey's, it had the cookies and cream. I like cookies and um but and the other cash register it had a bunch of people on. I feel like I didn't feel like going through them trying to get it. So I just got this Carberry caramel bars. They look like that inside of them. It's really good. If you ever, if you get uh, around Easter time, um, April, May of the year, you know they have those little eggs that's like milk chocolate and caramel in them. That that's the same thing except for it's like a little bars. They're really good. Um, got my Mountain Dew, but I'm wanting something to drink. So yeah, that's really it right now. Um, I'm just gonna go on my laptop and watch YouTube or do something. I really need to film a video for my main channel today. I need to try to think of an idea. I might do that today. I need to film a couple more times for this video so I can stop, so I can end the video and I can edit. Go ahead and get this video up today. Kind of early in the mid afternoon. Um, yeah, uh, pretty much. So, yeah, I feel like I need to take a nap because if I really didn't sleep well last night. I got a good amount of sleep, but like, since I woke up like twice last night with cramping and everything, I only woke up really once. But since I woke up once, really didn't go back to sleep, kind of went back to sleep, but then woke back up still early. I just feel like I'm tired, um, but I don't know if I'll get a nap day or not, I really need it, but, yeah, so that is it for right now, I'll see you guys a little bit later, um, that's all I'm gonna be doing, get on my laptop, watch YouTube videos, make a video idea so I can film a video for the main channel, watch some Netflix, it's Saturday, so it's like my lazy day, don't have to do no school, don't really have to do much chores or anything like that so yeah so that is what I'm gonna be doing and I'll update you guys a little bit later all right y'all so little update um it is six o'clock now although after six my clock's a little behind um me and mom went to the grocery store like about an hour ago we just got home out 45 minutes ago to an hour. Um, we went to town earlier, but we didn't go to the grocery store. We had to go several places. My mom had to pay bills and stuff like that. So we didn't worry about getting groceries. We should have, because we went and got out in this rainy mess. But it's raining. Um, it's thundering. Thundering, lightning, rain, all of that. Which is actually like calmed down some, because I'm supposed to take me a shower. Um, I got soaking wet, so I changed into just some pajama pants and a t-shirt when we got home. And my hair's half damp, and I need to wash it anyways. <sighs> yeah. So, my cramping, I was cramping pretty badly earlier before we left the other town. It was time for me to take some medicine. I just took regular ibuprofen instead of taking Tylenol. Um, that seemed to help more than that. I don't know, it's just because medicine wasn't really going to help. Usually medicine takes forever to help on the first day, but, um, I don't know what it was, but I took actual ibuprofen 3.30, cause we got home around 5 and it, we had to go to Walmart, then we had to go like down in the middle of town to Subway after that, to get, so we just ate Subway for supper, and so it took about 30, 30 minutes, 34, 30 or 45 minutes in Walmart. Then it didn't take us long in Subway. 
it kind of took a long time getting home because it was raining and pouring down rain and you, know, you have to drive very, very carefully. So, yeah, I think that's it for this vlog. I know it ain't very long-ish, um, but I think I'm going to call it on this vlog so after I get through taking a shower, I can edit and try to get the video up if the internet stays up and stuff long enough because when it's raining and stuff, the internet goes down a lot. So, I'm going to try to get this up tonight. I know it's kind of late, but I'm going to try to go ahead and get it up so I have it up. Um, comment down below what video you guys want to see. Um, I want to try to be more active. I always say this, but I never be more active. Um, go subscribe to my main channel because I'm more active over there. I do other kind of videos, so if you want to see other different videos from me, um, go subscribe to my main channel. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed this period vlog, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everybody.